In my $33,000 Robinhood dividend portfolio, I got paid from eight different companies in the month of October. That's about as half as many payments than in the month of September. But we are still at all time highs when it comes to dividend payments in the year of 2023. But as for now, we're gonna take a look at why you guys are here, which is of course, these dividend payments. All right. So starting October 2nd, Coca-Cola, from owning 16 shares, I got paid $7.36, so that's 46 cents a share. And as you know, just taking a quick look at Coke, you can see over the past month, it is recovering from a pretty decent sized dip. And over the past three months, it is still down over 7%. And Coke pretty much bounced off its 52 week low in the month of October, which is pretty shocking because this company usually never sees a drop or correction like that. Unfortunately, I didn't buy none at that moment, but I'm still holding strong with my 16 shares. October 11th, we have AG&C owning 103.9 shares at 12 cents a share. I got paid $12 and 47 cents. Now, O Realty Income for owning 58.7 shares at 20 five, six a share. I got paid $15.03, which did get reinvested. And I got almost 30% of a share. Taking a look at it though, I have added quite a few more to this portfolio. Looking at it, we can see I'm, I'm at around 85 and a half shares. Total return down 11%, but that's okay. This is still below $50 to $50 range. I'm trying to get to 100 shares and drop my average cost as low as possible. I started out at around $61. Now I'm at a 56, 51, and we'll see where I'm at when I get to that 100 shares. October 16th, we have Stag Industrial for owning 25 and a half shares at 12 cents a share. I got paid three dollars and 12 cents, which did get reinvested, and I got eight percent of a share. October 19th, PSEC for owning 130 shares at six cents a share. I got paid seven dollars and 81 cents. SPHD October 27th for owning 28 shares at 17 cents a share. I got paid $4.95, which did get reinvested and I got 13% of a share. October 31st for owning six shares at $1.05, I got paid $6.30 from JP Morgan. And last but not least, October 30th again for 100 shares of QYLD. At a little over 16 cents a share, I got paid $16.68, bringing me to a total of $73.72 for these eight payments. Now, surely by October next year, this month will be producing over $100 a month. I have four months out of the year that currently aren't producing 100 bucks a month, but that's okay because we're working up to it. I don't own many stocks that pay for the month of October. Taking a look at the future in this month, we can see I already got paid $27.75 from AT&T and I have Lowe's, AGNC, Stag, Realty Income and PSEC coming in hot. We can see O Realty Income is getting closer to that $25 a month, which will be, you know, pretty much 100 shares. So I'm getting pretty close to it. I definitely am going to make 100 shares in that company by the end of the year. So yes, yeah, $73.72 for the month of October. And this month already in November, I got paid from AT&T. And speaking of AT&T, they just had their quarterly earnings and it was pretty decent. If you wanna check out a video I made talking about the earnings and talking about if AT&T is a buy right now, go ahead and click this video. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're still watching and haven't done so, go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button to join this little family we have, guys. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Peace, love, and prosperity.